Wow. 10-year-old Julio Cohen is learning from home this week. His elementary school in Armstrong, B.C. was closed, uncertain when it would reopen again. The kids did not know when they're going to get to see their teachers again and when they're not, when they're going to get to see their friends again. That's a little bit stressful for sure. The school district says the closure was because of staffing issues. Three staff members have caught COVID, but the teachers union says it's more than that. The local union told CBC News that several teachers refused to teach in class because of the high number of students not wearing masks. In BC, a mask exemption does not require a doctor's note. The union president wants those rules tightened up across the province. We're asking for a revisit of that process and a re-examination of, uh, of uh, exemptions that are given. But the other big issue, of course, is just simply refusal. So we're seeing um, refusals to wear masks, even where an exemption is not being granted. More than 150 parents in Armstrong have signed a petition against masking rules in school. It feels like there's a lot of fear mongering and control going on right now, and we're just tired of it. Nathan Stand even pulled his two sons out of the other elementary school in Armstrong, partially because of mask mandates. I think it's ridiculous. I believe in good hygiene, washing your hands, stay home if you're sick, but I'm tired of it and I think we should all move on. Tonight, the district said Armstrong Elementary will reopen next week and it started reviewing the existing mask exemptions. But even with school back in session, Amy Cohen is worried about divisions in her town. Certainly this issue is um, making me look at my community a little bit differently. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Armstrong, British Columbia.